What is going on everybody? I am Jamma Giant and today I'm gonna show you how to get every single gifted Pokemon in the game, including legendaries, including Zacian and Zamzanti, obviously the exclusives. Um uh, it's a weird way to get them, it's pretty much part of the story, but I just want to clarify there's a lot of Pokemon that you can get for free. So this video is probably gonna be around 15 minutes long, but we will see. Alright, so let's get into the first Pokemon. Alright, so for the first Pokemon, obviously you get your starter right here. That's why I'm starting here. This is uh, the house. I just beat the game, so... Still right here, but obviously you get your starter right here. Um, I'll do the legendaries after, because it's a little bit of a storyline, but we'll do all the free Pokemon first, so... You're gonna want to go to Route 5. Right here. Pokemon Nursery. Alright, you are gonna run up here. And in the nursery, if you talk to her, you get a free Toxel. So there's the first one. There you go, Toxel. No, not bad. I like to what level he is, but I don't know. Um, that's okay. We got an EXP candy, so that's nice. So you're supposed to do this like start of the story, but I, I did it a little late because I'm a little behind, but it's okay. He is level one, by the way. Just so you guys know, just hunt this out. He's level one. All right, so next place you're gonna want to go is Snow on side right here. Into this Poke Center, and then you're gonna talk to this guy in this Poke Center when my thing loads. And he will give you two fossilized birds. You either have to find the other fossils. I don't know if I have the other fossils. I need to check, but until I can check, I'll just go here and see if I have them. I don't know if I do. But this will give you four different Pokemon. There's a certain way to do this, so that's why I want to do this on on the recording. Show you guys. So you go down here. Then you're going to wrap around, go to the other ladder to the left right here. Avoid getting into fights. Don't be me because I'm special. Sorry, that's my bad. A uh, wild Pokemon decided to want to piss me off. So, okay, here. Yeah, I got. I think I have the two dinos already. There's usually right here. Here it is. There it is. The two dinos. That's a fish. Okay. So usually they're dino. Sometimes they're fish. It depends. And you just talk to her. And I only have the fish and the Drake. You're gonna have four choices. Okay. I personally only have two of the fossils. I don't really know how to get the other ones. I'm gonna check before this video is over and I will I will show them for you. But you'll see this is one of the Pokemon you can get. And there's they're gonna be a combination of four. So this is the Dracovish. Part water and part dragon. You can also get Dracozolt, which I'll put a picture on the screen. You can get Dracozolt. Okay, so when you combine the fish fossil and the Drake fossil, you get Arctovich. When you combine the fish fossil and the dino fossil, you get Dracovich. It's basically the same thing here. When you get the bird fossil and the drake fossil, you get Dracozolt. And the bird fossil and the dino fossil, you get Arctozolt. And then you can get three others. I believe I only have two fossils, right? Yeah, see, I only have a fossilized fish. Usually it would say fossilized fish, fossilized dino. And on the next screen, it will say fossilized drake and fossilized something else. But... I need to get the other fossils. I don't really know how. I know you can make the people dig for them with your energy. Let me actually go do that and I'll be right back. Okay, so I found some information. Apparently there are two fossils that are more common in sword and more common in shield. But these are the digging duos, which are right here on the map, if you guys didn't know. Um, you can use your watts to dig and it may take a while so uh, let's see how long i don't have that many watts so i don't know if i'm gonna be able to do this now but i'll insert a clip of somebody doing it if uh if i can't do it but for now i'll try it i only have 3,000 watts so we'll, we'll see now according to who i've what i've seen the guy on the left gives you better stuff and the guy on the right 
Oh, see, I got a fossil standard. There we go. That's one of them. The guy on the right gives you more items. The guy on the left gives you better items. So that's up to you which one you want to do. But, I mean, I just got... I got the fossilized dino. I only need one more. So, I mean, that's that's not B. It's not bad at all. I mean, I don't know if I'm getting really lucky. Because the guy that I was watching said it's really rare. But you get a lot of stuff for this anyway. So... Okay, so... Uh, let's see. I don't know if doing this after and after again makes him more tired, but it's very possible. Oh, wait. Did I just get all of them? Hold up. I think I just got all of them. Okay, I think I just got all of them. Hold up. Is that... I'm pretty sure that's all the ones I need, right? Maybe I lied to you. One. I got... Wait, I got two of these. What am I missing? So, okay. So, I'm missing one. But I have two of these. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Alright, so let's keep doing it. Trying to get the last one. Yeah. Also gives you items and stuff. I mean, it gives you good stuff. A fish. Did I have a fish? I feel like you didn't have a fish, but I'll, I mean, I'll, I'll keep going. Oh, moon. See, you get a lot of stuff for this. Like, it's definitely worth it. All this only cost me 500. I don't know why it's giving me so much, but I'll take it. Can I just keep going? There we go. Ten treasures, bro. That was good. And he's usually the one that gives you less items. Okay, did I get all of them now? Okay, so I need... I have a dino, a fish, and a drake. What's the one I'm missing? Let me see. Okay, and by the way, um, drakes and fishes are more common in shield, and I have shield, so it makes sense. Bird and dino are less common in shield. They're more common in sword. So I am missing a bird. So I'm just going to keep doing this until I get a bird. And I'll either cut to that, or if I don't get it, then I'll... Grind some watch and I'll come back to it another day, but we'll see. I don't know how rare it is to get a bird. Okay, see, he's tired, so let me try him one time. Oh, I don't even have enough, do I? Damn it. Okay, so for now, I don't have enough watch, so I'll do this another day, but you can see I got three out of the four fossils. I see, I still only have the fish to start it with, but now I can use the dino. And I'll get the Arctovich. I'll get the Arctovich. There you go. The Water and Ice type. Okay, so moving on to the next Pokemon, we're gonna go to Winden. Uh, most of these Poke- uh, This Pokemon, I believe you have to be the game first for by being the champion. So... I just wanted to wait. I know there's also... I forgot to show the Charizard in the beginning, but I'll do that after this. You get a free Charmander. So if you talked to this lady... She'll give you a Null. Pokemon type Null. Now, the, he can evolve into many different bikes of Pokemon. I'm pretty sure he is, like... Maybe seven evolutions? Maybe even more, if I'm being honest. I, I don't really know for sure. I'm going to look it up to make sure. But it depends on which type of memory you have him hold. This is who he evolves to. So, if I show you what the memory looks like. Let's see. I honestly don't know where that memory goes. Okay, yeah. So, you can see what he can evolve to. So, you have all these memories that you have. See this. So she gives you all of this. So if you give him a fighting memory, he'll become a fighting type, flying, blah, 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 blah. You understand. So you can evolve him into any of the types you want. Um, For me personally, I haven't really found any good psychic types. So I think I'm going to evolve him to a psychic type. I'll show you guys what that looks like uh, now. So let me just do that real quick for you. So this is what he looks like. He's level 50. Um... Yeah, let's let's just put him in for now for right now. Um I'll buy him to a psychic type just so I can show you guys. So, 
Now he's holding that. Okay, so the way he evolves is just by high friendship. So, um, you guys know, just put him in your party and walk around with him. Give him a thing to like, increase his friendship if you want. So, yeah, let's move on to the next Pokemon. He's a cool type because he can evolve into anything that you want him to pretty much. So, he's a very unique type in that way. So, I'd say he's pretty cool. He also, again, starts level 50. So, I mean, by the end of the game, it's not that high, but it's not bad. Like so... Now we're going to go all the way down to the start. My bad. And I believe um, you're going to get your Charmander. This is where you get the Charmander. So you go in this house. go upstairs in this house and there is a Charmander just sitting here so Leon basically gives you a free Charmander once you beat him I mean I already have a Charizard so he's honestly not useful to me but I mean I'll, I'll take it and fills up my Pokedex a little bit so not bad now, so that Charmander that you just found is actually level 5 um, so, I mean, not the highest of levels, but, you know, it's supposed to be a starter Pokemon, so. Alright, now if you go to the meetup spot in the wild area. And go into here. Okay, I'll show you this. I can't do this, personally, but I will show you guys what you have to do. My bad. So, if you go into here, and you go to these two right here, this is how you get... If you had Let's Go Eevee... And let's go Pikachu. This is how you get a Pikachu and an Eevee for free. I'll insert a clip of uh, somebody getting that right now. So basically, you get a free Eevee and a free Pikachu as a reward for playing Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. Uh, they both get Gigantamaxed, which is uh, actually a pretty big deal, if I'm being honest. Because Gigantamax is kind of changed the game, and Pikachu and Eevee are always good. So that Eevee can evolve into a lot of stuff. All I'm going to say, and that Pikachu is pretty decent. I couldn't get it because I don't have Let's Go Pikachu or Let's Go Eevee, as I literally bought a Switch just for this game, pretty much. But yeah, that's how you get those two. Now, there's also a way to get a Mew. I can't do this. But if you go to Mystery Gifts and via internet, you have to connect to the internet. And if you have, I believe the way you get it is if you buy the Pokeball. You buy the legitimate Pokeball, I think, maybe. Oh, yeah, if you get a Pokeball, like the, I think it's like the $50 Pokeball on the website, you get a Gigantamax Meowth, which obviously is a Gigantamax Meowth. Um, and you can also get a Mew out of it. I believe. Yeah, if you have the Pokeball Plus, you get a, um, See, I get a course on items I gift, but if you had a Pokeball Plus, you get the Meow. And you get the free Mew. Which is uh, my second favorite Pokemon of all time, by the way. Yeah, unfortunately, I can't get him. Um, but again, I'll insert a clip of somebody getting him right now. Okay, so what this person does is really confusing, and I honestly have no clue what they did. But I can tell you that they just went to their mystery gift, connected to the internet, and they got a gigantic egg mouth. I don't know if they got lucky or they did something or maybe because I didn't complete a certain part of the game yet. Um, but whenever you can see that you can get a Gigantamax uh, Galarian Mouth from this. And then they also show you that if you buy the Pokeball, you can get a free Mew. Okay, so now you saw that. Now we're going to get to what everybody is most excited for. How to get the legendary Zamazanti and Zacian. Of course, their type they are, uh, what's it called? They're game exclusives. Um, so, it's not the easiest thing in the world, but it's a little bit of a storyline. You have to go back to where you finished the story. You have to go back, all the way back here, and there's going to be two people here. And this is a good chance to use the Master Ball. Oh my God. Okay, so basically this whole thing leads to a, like, hour and a half long story... Um, post-game story 
that lets you getting your exclusive. So obviously, if you have Shield, that's Amazonti. If you have Sword, that's Zacian. Um, basically, you're gonna have to fight the opposite sword, the opposite game's exclusive, beat him, and then you can catch your own. Very good chance to do the Master Ball that you get at the end of the game for free. Um, I'll show you guys me catching him, but if you want to watch what you do to get all of him, it's like you have to fight like a bunch of Dynamax Pokemon all around everywhere and fight a gym and all that stuff. Do you want to show, see all that stuff? Uh, come to my episode 11 on my Pokemon Shield playthrough series. I'll link the link in the description. And um, yeah, you guys can watch me do that, but I'll just cut to me actually capturing the Pokemon. Okay, so obviously you can see he appears after all the stuff that you have to do. Then I go ahead, I throw a Master Ball. You will see me catch him. And um, yeah, that's pretty much the end of this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed. There is no way to get the opposite uh, type Pokemon unless you trade for him. Just keep that in mind before you buy the game if you're watching this before that. Um, but yeah, I mean, I personally... I think Zacian's much better because in the fight with Hop that I had after this, I really struggled beating Zacian. Zamazante did almost nothing for me, I'm not gonna lie. He really disappointed me. Um, and Zacian's more of an attacker, Zamazante's more of a defensive guy, more of like a tank. So keep that in mind if you want to figure out who you which game you want to buy. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, go watch my whole entire Pokemon Shield playthrough. It was a really good playthrough. I didn't die at all. One of my, probably my best playthrough ever. Most successful on my channel, funnest on my channel, all that stuff. So yeah, um, by the way, Zamazanti has two forms. It's not evolutions, I'm stupid. It's two forms. When you give him the shield to hold, he has the, uh, he's a fly, he's a steel and a fighting type. When he has no shield in his hand, he's just a fighting type. As you saw him go into my Pokedex like that. That's why it looks like that. Okay, well anyway, you guys know what to do. I'll see you guys in the next video, and peace.